Evening everybody. Told you I'd be back. Back out in the glorious Peak District. Out for a solo wild camp tonight. Just need it. Oh, so needed it. Where am I? You'll have to find out yourself. Uh, I know I'm not that big on YouTube, but a lot of uh, influencers are having to keep it quiet. So it's only fair that I do the same. Let's see what we can see. Let's see if you can work it out. I seem to be following a couple who've got their rucksacks on. A bit late to be setting off for a just a normal hike so I think they've got the same idea I just wonder are they going to the same location I don't know if there's any of you I watch my YouTube channel that are uh, into the old wild camping but since there's been a bit of a ruckus in the media and especially on Facebook about people getting moved on certain moorlands been caught to light, so then rangers going out on quad bikes, moving wild campers on. Granted, trying to cut down on the fly campers, uh, but since there were a few places that were recommended not to go, that's all I could think of for a place to go. And even though the Peak District's a large area, it took some real doing to think, I'm going to go somewhere different. Well, I forgot about this path, didn't I? Rookie mistake. Especially with all the weight I'm carrying in my bag. Little bugger just scared me half to death. I'm not panting because of that. That little bit of a path. Short and sharp. The reserve, I mean the water, is looking quite low today. Still not telling you where I am though. So, as I said in my last video, how have you been? Like really, how have you been? It's one of these things that, you know, you don't talk, nobody talks. Somebody asks, you alright? And that's just a way of saying, hello. Seen a few people on YouTube that are admitting they've not done too great <sighs> got to admit I've been struggling it's been like a robot work, home, work, home and that's it and when the restrictions were easing I didn't take that too well some people rejoiced I were fearful. Not a COVID. Just having to mingle again. Been isolated for so long. I didn't know how to interact. Been distanced from groups of friends. Muting notifications. It's just too much chatter, too much noise. Basically living like a hermit. I've not known what to do with myself. But I'm quite happy with doing nothing. But being out, back out in all this, makes a world of difference. I've always said it was food for the soul. You don't half feel better from it. The fresh air, burning them calories you put on during lockdown. Now I know I'm enjoying it, but there's no excuse for carrying this much timber. And I think the weather had a lot to play with it as well. Went too bad during lockdown one. Like a bit of a holiday, weren't it? People were off work, whether you, you enjoyed that or not. The sun were glorious. You were taking up tiffins at 11 o'clock. And then during winter, winter lockdown, 
it's moody, it's dark, it's cold. And as much as you can go out for your daily exercise, why would you choose to walk local, get muddy and cold? And you can just be in front of TV in a nice warm house. So yeah, really, how have you been? I've opened up a bit. And as men, blokes, we don't tend to talk, do we? You might go to the pub, have a few jars, and put the wells to rights. But somebody asks how you are, you're alright, aren't you? Always alright. Feel like you've got to be that pillar, that rock, that one that everyone relies on. This day and age, though. It's not, is it? We have equal rights, like we should. So men can equally be affected. So I'm out today. It's been well overdue. Just me, myself, and I. Just so we can keep under the rule of six. So I'm still fairly new to this wild camping. Not new to camping. Did a bit backpacking when uh, I was a teenager. Uh, but this all trying to follow the ethos, leave no trace, not a problem that. They arrive late to leave early. The leave early part, not a problem. The arrive late part I seem to have a bit of trouble with. I see people tipping up at five o'clock or something, and the sun's gonna set at about half seven, eight. A bit early for my liking. But I do seem to get out as the sun starts setting. Doesn't look like it's setting at the moment, but it's looking dull, it's looking dark. So I'd best hurry up to my location and pitch up. Anybody recognize that place? If only I'd brought the hammock. Literally five minutes after seeing that sign, no fires, no barbecues, come across that. It's mental. And another. And a third. That's three fires. Fireplaces I've seen. Alright, they're surrounded by rocks. But three in the matter of three minutes. Shocking. Never hesitate to rehydrate. Well, kind of reached my location. Just behind me there, where the tents are. That's Mermaid's Pool. That's where I wanted to camp. I'm not a bit disheartened by it, but I'm not mad about it. I've seen a few wild campers on the way up, hidden out of the way. Uh, Guess me is. Don't know if you can hear him. Decent looking tents for the youths. And all I can hear is tap, tap, tap. Because they're chopping up firewood. They're chopping summit, and there's four of them, and one of me. So I'm tempted to tell them not to, but it's not worth the hassle. Not worth me getting injured. That's terrible. Well, best find somewhere else to camp then. So I thought I'd come down the hill a bit, out of the way. Like I said, as much as I didn't approach them youths. And like I said, the expensive tents means that they might not cause trouble. But when they should know that they shouldn't have fires, and they chopped up firewood. Yeah, who was to know? So I've come a bit further down to try and uh, 
get out of the way of them at the site. How do you wild campers find somewhere perfect to pitch? Seriously. I am absolutely clueless. I'm looking and thinking, oh, when you say flat, that's a bit bumpy, and I suppose it's whatever you're comfy with. It's like, do you see them? Them over there? Cracking spot. Don't want to get too close to them. So, I'm thinking about pitching on top of there. Hopefully, I've got enough daylight, I've got probably about an hour. Shouldn't take me too long to get over there. And I should catch a cracking, cracking sunset. Better hurry up though, I can feel, I don't know if you could just see, there's a bit of precipitation in the air, so quickly does it. Well, here's a better location. I think I've got about 20 minutes of light left. It's nice and flat. They don't look fresh, but obviously a vehicle can get up here. And like I said at the beginning, quad bikes. Ranges on quad bikes. So glad to get that off my bike. Disposable barbecue, 24 stellar, sound system, battery powered lights, a load of food for barbie. You can understand why people leave it. So, I'm in the Van Gogh Banshee um, 300 Pro, as usual, and tonight I am sleeping on, it's the ooh, Avenger Hike Aldi Special, um, self-inflating mat, I, I just can't justify spending £100 on a mat, and this has served me well. I've got the OEX Fathom 400 and a Van Gogh Deep Sleep Thermo Pillow. I've tried the Trekology Pillow. Uh, I had one bought for my birthday a few years back and I wrote in and complained about it. Um, granted it was a hot day, I'd inflate it, put it in the tent and by the time I come to uh, bedtime, it were uh, deflated. Um, I thought I must have had a puncture, so I filled it up there put it in a bowl of water and loads of bubbles come out like loads of like pinhole pinholes all over it so I wrote complained and they said it's their technology that um, if you had it like a balloon it'd pop so these are like tiny tiny vent holes so it's supposed to regulate itself so they sent me another one out and after a night's sleep on it it's half inflated uh, I don't know whether it's because my head gets hot therefore it self fence but I'm not a fan and what's on tonight's menu now you can buy these um, like wild camping meals adventure meals trekking meals or which works just as well as for boiling the bag are these microwavable pouches saves hell of a lot of money and you get to make your own meals up tonight's selection of ales And as there's all these problems going on with the fires on the moors and people having barbecues and stuff, it's got me thinking, as you can tell, I'm a smoker, a dirty habit, I know. But what do you do with cigarette ends? You knock off the end and carry it in your pocket and then your clothes smell or do you throw it away and litter? Or you buy one of these little pouches. Extinguishes the flames, keeps the smell at bay, you're not littering, and they're quite cheap as well.
Just look at them colours. Fantastic. So good to get back out again. A little bit of solitude. As much as we spent months locked up in isolation. Not socialising. But I'm out on a solo. Not socialising. But jeez, does it feel great. To be back with one with nature. Well, the time's quarter past eleven. Um, just spent the evening chilling out in the tent. Uh, I decided to tog up a bit. I'm going to put my hat on in a minute. And, uh, yeah, get my head down. Set my alarm for five o'clock in the morning. The sunrise is supposed to be about half past five, so I'll have a brew and uh, hopefully catch the sunrise. Hopefully it'll be as uh, spectacular as the sunset. So until then, see you in the morning. Good morning. It's 20 past five. Uh, the sun's should just about start uh, rising. We were cold one last night. I think I got about five hours sleep. Tossed and turned a little bit. Uh, but yeah, all is good. So, I'm gonna think about uh, packing all my gear together once I've had a cup of coffee. And we'll start uh, heading back down. All packed away. Them views. Could you ask for a better morning? Well, apart from it being a little bit warmer, that'd be nice. As always, leave no trace. And off we go from where I were to come down a bit, across the river, go up so we could climb over the fence. And now we're heading back down towards uh, the reservoir. Just need to cross this now to get back onto the path. And after saying that, oh look, there's a bridge. Saves getting wet feet. Well, as you can see, I've made it back down to the side of the water. The sun's on my back. It started to warm things up again. Finally got some feeling back in my feet. It's been brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Did I ever tell you, I hate this path. Jelly legs walking down now. Five and a half thousand steps before eight o'clock. That ain't too shabby. Well, I'm back onto Kinder Road, heading towards Bowden Bridge Car Park, where I parked. Oh, it's, like I said, it's been fantastic. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. If you've not already, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I'm on 135 subscribers at the moment, and it means the world to me. I think my next checkpoint is 150 so if I could get there that'd be brilliant if you found any worth in this video please like it don't hesitate to comment again let me know how you're doing 
or anywhere else that you'd want me to wild camp. So until then, catch you later. <laughs>